Hey guys, Lethal Isla here, and today we're going to be building the best possible M1A in Escape from Tarkov. Now, this is an expensive build. I'm a big fan of this weapon. I'm a big fan of the cheaper builds of this weapon, should I say. And this is going to be a very expensive version of that. So this is it right here in case you wanted to try and build it from this section. Some people know a lot of the parts and can build this weapon just from looking at this screen right here. But what we're going to do now is we are going to dismantle and we're going to build it bit by bit. So let's go ahead and dismantle it. Where is the... There it is, dismantle. So you can see it's not really got too much parts in it. It is a simple weapon. We have got this advanced tube again, which is extremely expensive. Not really needed. Again, there are much cheaper options for something like the advanced tube. Anyway, let's get started. And you know what? We will start with the advanced tube itself after checking, of course, what the price of the weapon is first. So the weapon goes for 31k standard, so it's not cheap as it is, and that is because it is a very powerful weapon and can kill people in 1, 2, and usually 9 times out of 10, 3 shots, regardless of where you shoot them. And the advanced tube that we're going to be adding to this, this is the tube we're going to add. There are much cheaper options than this out there, but this does have the best effects for the weapon, with plus 5 on accuracy, minus 4 on recoil, plus 1 on the aeronomics, and plus 2 on the muzzle velocity. And this does not come in cheap, it comes in currently at around 97,000. It's going to cost you a lot of money if you want to use this one. Personally, I don't recommend it, but it is definitely going on the best build. But we can't stick that on yet because we haven't stuck this on yet. So I don't know what I was thinking going with the tube first. So this is the SASS. And what this does basically is puts the whole weapon inside it. So you stick the stock on the back, all your mounts and things on the front. So this is pretty cool. And it does minus 12 on the recoil, plus 25 on the aeronomics. So it has a massive positive effect on the weapon but this doesn't come in cheap either if we check the price on this you can see it comes in at just shy of 40,000 rubles so not a cheap piece but a pretty cool piece that has really positive effects on the weapon so i think that's definitely worth the 40k if you're going to build the weapon and we're going to add the 100k tube onto it now and then we're going to add the stock on top of that now we've got the ctr stock here and this does minus 38 recoil plus 9 aeronomics. This doesn't come in expensive at all. But I think for the benefits you get out of this, it's actually one of the best stocks you can get on the game for relatively cheap as well. If we fill it by item, you can see it comes in at around 7.5k or 7k if that one was still there. Should we check? It is still there. So you can even get it for 7k. So it's extremely cheap. Really good benefits for the gun. And we're going to chuck that on right now. Next up, we'll go and add the pistol grip. Now, again, it's not the most expensive pistol grip for the weapon. It doesn't have the options to have the best ones that are considered the best ones on the game, which is kind of nice, but it's obviously not going to help as much as the best one would anyway. And it comes in at around 10,000, so extremely cheap, really, for any part for a weapon. And it's going to do plus 10 on the aeronomics. So you, there are some out there that do plus 18s, but they're not going to fit on this weapon. And that is the best one for this weapon. Next up, we're going to chuck on the barrel now. Now, we're going for the 22-inch barrel. I do think there are other options when it comes to the barrel. And if you fill it by item, you can see this is 25k. And let's have a little look at the effects. It does minus 9 on the recoil, minus 5 on the aeronomics, and minus 6.18 on the muzzle velocity. So it does really have a big minus on the muzzle velocity for this. But it's still the best option when it comes to the barrel for the weapon. So we're going to chuck this on now and move on to the muzzle brake now the muzzle brake we're going to use is the odin works atlas and this does plus two for the accuracy minus 11 for the recoil so really good in the recoil there and pulls a bit of that muzzle velocity back not much really plus 0 0.5 on the muzzle velocity it's again it doesn't have an option between as many as some other guns so there are some better muzzle brakes out there but no better one that'll fit on this weapon so we're going to chuck that on now and we have two things left we have the clip and the monstrum which we're going to go for so the monstrum is going to do minus three aeronomics on the weapon and it's quite nice just on all weapons really if you're looking to have that slight zoom you can see it goes times two which is not bad they're all times 232 so it's kind of a good all-round scope if you are looking to scope in a little bit you can sometimes get a little bit too tight with it but i do like the monstrum i think it's a decent scope for the m1a kind of works a little bit with short distance and quite well at long distance so it's kind of an all-purpose aim down there with a plus two and last but not least we're going to add the x14 this is the clip obviously and it is a 50 round clip and has some proper negative effects on the weapon with a minus 10 on the aeronomics plus 25 on the load speed so very slow if you want to load another one of these in which you really shouldn't have to because this is a single fire weapon 
So 50 bullets on a single fire weapon, you should be able to have plenty of time to either load another one in or restack this mag at some point during your combat. And then you have check modifier speed, and then so to check it is 15% slower as well. But this is the main one, it has a minus 10 on the aeronomics, and that's the... Um, big negative of using a big clip with obviously the clip itself it being a 50 clip being the big positive but i like this clip as well i'm going to chuck it on there and there you go that's our weapon built already not a long one really to build not much parts that go on it so we're going to test this in the hideout now and i'm actually going to test it against the build that i like for it anyway just so we can kind of judge if it's worth it or not now where is the build for the one i like so let's assemble this now and we'll put them against each other now that we've got the one we actually wanted. So that's my build, that's the way I like it, and this is the expensive build that we've just built right now. Why is that not going on? Did we buy two of them by accident? Maybe we did. So anyway, let's put them both in our slots. Let's take out our tosses here, which are just here for banter really. Um, we'll put them in and we'll check it out in the hideout. So we're here in the hideout now, ready to test out the weapons. This is the expensive one, and this is the budget build, which I personally prefer. I don't usually bring in a second one, but on this occasion, I do feel like the budget build does just as well as the expensive build. So I'm trying to show you that you don't really need to build one that's this high end. So we're going to aim down sight here now, and I'm just going to let loose, fire as fast as I possibly can, so you can kind of see how the gun's going to perform, like recoil-wise. And in my opinion, considering the recoil on the weapon, I think that's really good. You know, you're getting a lot of headshots if you aim, aim for the body there. And there's a little bounce. And if you wait a little bit longer when you're shooting, we'll continue to shoot here. You can see that you can kind of wait for that to pop right back to where you want to be shooting, things like that. So you can kind of wait a second and it'll pop right back to where you want to shoot. Now we're going to go crazy with this one now. This is a more budget build so that you can see the difference. So I would say there's no denying that there's improvement there. But again, if you're not going to be popping it that fast if you're trying to be accurate. If you're trying to hit someone from a little bit of distance away, I feel like you can pop it a little bit slower. There's no doubt that it's actually, it's actually impressed me a little bit more than what I expected, this one. It definitely is way more accurate. There's no two ways about that. But it's also very expensive when you're... It's kind of like a sniper. You're trying to hit one shot at a time and then readjust with a weapon like this. Unless you're up close, then you're going to just try and hit three bullets straight into someone. Anyway, that's the best M1A build. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'm going to leave that video there. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always. And take it easy.